Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about a very popular type of chart, which is pie chart. I'm sure you would have seen many representations of the pie charts. But pie chart is not so popular in the analytics community. And I'll tell you what are the reasons why it is not so popular amongst people who really understand the data very well. Let's get started. Let's start with some math around the pizza, right? So we often order pizzas, and depending on you know, how many people we are ordering for, we may order pizza in different sizes. So we may order a small pizza, or we may order a large pizza. And often the pizza is ordered keeping its diameter in mind. Diameter is nothing but something that's represented with this green arrow. Now, if you realize the ratio of the two diameters, let's say for a 12 inch pizza versus a six inch pizza is two. But the area for the two pizzas is very different. And this area is this region marked in yellow. It's very clear that a lot of people think the 12 inch pizza is double of that of six inch pizza, but actually it's four times of that. And it's not so easy to imagine it in our mind because our minds are good at processing linear information, information in one dimension, but not when it comes to areas and angles. Let's say we are talking about the sales performance, which is segregated by different zones. So east, west, north, and south. Well, south is very clear in this case, the smallest piece. But it will not be very convenient for you to figure out the difference between east, west, and north, unless we provide you the data labels. Instead, if you keep it very simple, and we try to look for an alternative representation for a pie chart, a good alternative could be something like a count plot or a univariate bar chart. You can see, you can clearly differentiate between the performance zone wise. In fact, you wouldn't need a lot of ink because you could represent these even in one color. The very fact that the zones are mentioned right below the bar makes it very easy for you to figure out which bar represents which zone. Whereas in case of a pie chart, you will first look at the color and then you'll have to come back to the legend. What does that red color represent? Oh, that's East. So whether we use colors or we don't use them, it's easier to read a bar chart compared to a pie chart. Moving on, when the number of categories you're trying to represent on a pie chart increase, it gets even more complex. And unfortunately, sorting operations also don't have a meaning here. When you have a lot of data, you would often want to sort it to be able to read it easily. Here, if you're sorting the data, it still does not help because you have to read it clockwise or anti-clockwise. And a lot of times, the labels that we're using would not be properly contained within the slice. That makes it difficult. Instead, this is an alternative representation of the same data. In fact, you must be wondering, this data talks about the counts. If you want to include the percentages, you would rather use something that's more popular, which is known as a Pareto chart, which gives you a sense of both the counts as well as percentages. So, so far, we've discussed that pie charts are bad at making comparisons and sorting with pie charts does not make sense. Another reason why you may not want to be using pie charts in your presentations is because it hides trends. If you're trying to represent a data which is with respect to time through a pie chart, you could be hiding a lot of information. In fact, the same data if I represent through a line chart, which shows a logical sequence of how the progress has happened over the quarters, you could see an alarming declining trend, but a pie chart is rather relaxed. So to summarize, why we may not want to use a pie chart is because it makes comparisons difficult. Number two, it doesn't help even after sorting. And number three, it hides trends. So I hope by now you get a clear idea as to why it's not a good idea to present certain information using pie charts. And when it's presented to you, what are the things that you need to be careful about? Thank you for watching this video.